Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kristen and today I'm going to film for you my May declutter and empties video. This is a really exciting video for me because I finished a lot of makeup products. A lot of them are um, sample size makeup products but I'm still really proud. I also finished a couple of candles this uh, month so I'm really excited about that as well. So I'll go ahead and get started with the things that I decluttered starting with the full size products that I decluttered. So the first thing that I have is this Carol's Daughter Coconut Shea Souffle. This is probably not a full full size but this is one of my larger deluxe size samples. I would consider this to be very close to full size for a product like this and I decluttered this because I wasn't terribly fond of the scent to start with but now the scent has kind of gone off it's been in my sample bag and I haven't really used it so I am going to go ahead and declutter this I was also going through my BB cream CC cream collection and I decided I was going to declutter this dream fresh BB um, this was when I was really first getting into makeup I've had this for a very long time and I don't remember loving it terribly to begin with so I am going to go ahead and declutter this rather than getting to the point where I decide to use it and suffering through the use of it because I want to finish it. I'm going to just get out anything that I don't think that I'm going to use rather than hanging on to it until I think I'm going to use it. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this. I have a product here that I'm going to keep because it has sentimental value to me but for all intents and purposes as far as my collection goes I am decluttering this. This is the Del Sol nail polish in the shade Diva. This I got on um, the first cruise I ever took with my husband in the Bahamas. There's a store called Del Sol and everything that they have there is color changing. So this is a color changing polish. It's supposed to change to this magenta shade up here. It doesn't change color in the sun. If it does, it's very, very um, hard to pick up. And it kind of just looks, I don't know, just looks off on my nails as far as the original color when you first put it on. So I am going to go ahead and, um, sorry, my hair is tickling me. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. The next full size product I have is this Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar in the shade Anime. I never wore this. This is all um, separated now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just, it's separated in here. I could probably get some color out of this, but um, I don't know, you know, the formula of it, if it smells or it looks terrible on the lips. I'm just not even going to try. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this, get this out of my collection. The remaining products that I have to declutter, I'm going to go through very quickly because what I did was I went through my samples bag and I decided to get rid of anything that I don't foresee myself using or that I know has been in there forever. So I'm just going to go ahead and get through these. This is the Tony and Guy London um, Casual Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. I think this is something that I'm going to go ahead and try and give to one of my coworkers because this is just something that I'm not going to use. The next thing I have is this Pureology Precious Oil Shampoo. Um, this doesn't smell very good to me, so I am going to go ahead and declutter this. I know that this is one of the favorite brands of Cherish here on YouTube, but um, she did just make a comment in her video the other day that she would forego shampoo and just use their... Actually, I think it was the other way around. She would forego their conditioners and use their shampoos. So... Um, let me give this a second thought. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this and try and use this in, um, you know, use this in the next couple of um, times that I shower. So we'll see how that works. This is the Masty Color Protect Leave-In Oil Treatment Certified Argan and oil, Olive Oil. This does not have that great of a smell to me, so I am going to go ahead and declutter this product. I've had it in here for quite some time. Um, the next product is this Nick Chavez Beverly Hills Color Saver Sulfate Free Shampoo. I'm really leery of shampoo samples and things like that. I just had a really bad experiences with the Fakai products, and I just don't have any desire to try and use this. 
The next thing is I have this Akasha Protein BB Cream for hair. I used this once, didn't really enjoy this, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. This Sun Blossom Moisturizing Hand Lotion smells terribly. It's definitely gone off in scent. Um, I have a couple of these Evology Intensive Blemish Serums. I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. I didn't even use these. Um, I don't foresee myself using them. This is a Skin Perfecting Polisher. Don't foresee myself using this. I just have so many face products to use. This is the Frizzy Smoothing Cream. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that because I don't think I'll use it. This is the Renew Exfoliating Gel. I've had this for in this sample basket for a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. This is the Coconut Lime Verbana Body Lotion. Not my favorite scent, and I do have a lot of body lotions to use. This is the Lancome Advanced Genifique. I don't see any kind of benefit from these little skincare products that come as samples because you don't get to use them for long enough if they even do anything for your skin to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I have this lip balm from Epicurean, uh, Epicurean uh, SPF 15 Tea Tree Oil. I did use this a little bit. I still enjoy the scent of this. It's very pepperminty. But... Um, I've dipped my fingers in this and I don't know, you know, the sanitariness of this. And also, I'm sure the SPF is way gone off in this. I have this Jouer Lip Enhancer. No desire to use this. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. I have some foil sample packets here. This is the L'Oreal Paris Nutri Gloss High Shine Shampoo. I don't have any desire to use a card shampoo like that. Um, this Lab Series 3-in-1 Post Shave. This is more of like a male product, so I don't have any use for that. going to go ahead and declutter that. This is another one of those Lancome Genifique. Used a bunch of these. Somehow this slipped, slipped past, and like I said, I don't foresee any um, benefits to using that just for one use. I have some makeup sample products here that I'm going to declutter. This is the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream Skin Perfector Light to Medium. i um, going to declutter this. Um, I just get really frustrated using little card products like this. I am using a couple right now from Kat Von D. But just in general, these really frustrate me, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, I am going to declutter these um, Tarte BB Tinted... Uh, 12 hour broad spectrum sunscreen this I've had hanging around for a while and these two are much too dark for me so I'm going to declutter those this is the naked skin shade 4.0 and 8.0 these are much too dark for me as well what's funny is the shade 4.0 is what I think I have my full size in and I'm gonna have a hard enough time using that because I got it when I was tan definitely can't use this 8.0 so I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter these I am going to declutter this Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. It's just really dark, not something that I foresee myself using, so I'm going to declutter that. And then this Versace Yellow Diamond Perfume Sample. I don't like this scent at all, so I definitely will not use this. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the products that I finished. Oh, one more, actually. I also am going to declutter this Bite Multi Stick. I didn't use this at all when I had it in my basket. This type of lip product is not something that I really tend to use. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this and use this as something that maybe I can send to somebody as a little bonus thing when I sell a product or something like that on my Instagram sale page once I get back into doing that. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this. I'm going to go ahead and get into the products that I finished for the month of May and let you know kind of just a brief idea of what I thought of these products. I'm just going to go ahead and start with these smaller products that I have here. I have these Publix 100% Cotton Cosmetic Rounds. Publix is a um, grocery store in my area. They're along the East Coast, mostly in the southern states, but um, if you guys are from Florida or... Um, Anywhere along the East Coast in the Southern area, you will know what Publix is. This is their brand, and I don't really care for these. These um, are the same type of cotton round products that pretty much every um, drugstore or Walmart or something like that carries, and I just don't like them. They're a little bit too thick. They don't really absorb product. 
Um, these are better than the pillow ones um, that are more like pillow type. I think the Swispers are the, the kind that I'm talking about. But I don't really like these. I definitely prefer the Shiseido cotton squares and I've definitely been spoiled by those. So um, not something that I would repurchase unless I can't get a hold of the Shiseido ones right away. This is the Anatomicals Puffy, the Eye Bag Slayer Wake Up Under Eye Patches I got in some sort of subscription box a very long time ago. I just finished the last packet of these and by the time I got to the end of these, they were very, very dried out. Uh, I don't foresee myself buying these particular eye patches. I didn't feel like they did anything for me. This is the Whipped Cream and Strawberry Cream Mask. This was actually from my April empties and I forgot to show this. I enjoyed this well enough, but these are not as sweet smelling as I thought they were going to be. Not that that's necessarily what a mask is for. Definitely looking for the benefits of this. This is supposed to nourish, smooth, and moisturize. I didn't really notice a terrible difference with the use of this particular mask. So um, I'm not saying I wouldn't repurchase it. I enjoyed it well enough, but I definitely enjoyed trying new and different masks. But I think these were only around in... Walgreens for like around Valentine's Day because that was kind of the theme of these. This is the Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off Eye Makeup Removers. This is my absolute favorite, although I think that these are starting to be discontinued. I did see them replaced with a different Olay type um makeup remover so I don't know if these are being reformulated in this particular brand or you know product is being discontinued but I hope not because I really really love these particular everything off fresh effects this would be my holy grail makeup remover currently I'm using Neutrogena because I couldn't find these in um, my local Walmart or my local Publix so that makes me really sad but we will see those are definitely my holy grail I finished this clear scalp and hair therapy moisturizing dry scalp. I really love these clear shampoos. This is definitely my favorite brand, hands down, of drugstore. But these are a little more higher end drugstore um, hair products. I really, really enjoy this. Definitely um, one of my favorites, or if not my favorite, from the drugstore. Would purchase again for sure. This is the Bath & Body Works Fresh Picked Heirloom Pear. This is probably definitely very old. I found this um, in a locker of somebody that no longer works at my job. There was a bunch of them, so I'm still currently using two other ones up in my kitchen and in my bathroom, but I really enjoyed this Heirloom Pear one. Bath & Body Works makes my absolute favorite hand wash. These deep cleansing hand soaps are my favorite. Um, so I would definitely repurchase. I try to repurchase different scents throughout the um, seasons, and I really, really love them. Definitely a Holy Grail product for me. Not necessarily that particular scent, but that product. I finished this Bath and Body Works Live Fresh Seaside Breeze Ultra Shea Body Cream. Love these body creams. Um, these are my favorite over the body lotions. I love this scent. I don't know if they'll come out with this again this summer or something similar because they like to do that where they change the name of something but it is the pretty much the exact same scent or has some of the same notes. Really enjoyed this one. I do have the body spray for this still. Love this scent. I finished two candles. The first one that I finished, actually this was the second, but the first one I'm going to show you is the Wild Madagascar Vanilla. This is finished all the way to here, which is about as far as you can get with these Bath & Body Works candles. You can see it's black up top because I uh, blow it out by covering the lid, um, putting the lid on top here. So this was in my 100 Colorful Empty, so I'm really glad that I got to finish this in this last month. And another product that's in my 17 and 2017 Let's Do Textures project is this mahogany coconut um, candle. And this is the same way, just as low as the Madagascar Vanilla. Pretty much as far down as you get on all of these products. And that is completely finished. I am excited about that. The next thing that I finished is really exciting to me. I have finished a perfume this year. This is the Clean Skin Perfume. 
This is one of my Holy Grail favorites. So I'm definitely itching to have this scent back, but I definitely want to finish more before I go out and repurchase this again or purchase any more perfumes in general. Really excited to have this out of my collection. This was one of the products that I wanted to finish this year. It fulfilled the goal of finishing a full-size perfume this year, and it also is part of my 100 Colorful Empty, so I hit a lot of goals with finishing this product. Would definitely, definitely repurchase this scent again. The next product I have is a deluxe size of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is probably the size that values at like 10 or 20 dollars and i think that i got this as a bonus product in some something somewhere along the line because i'm pretty sure i didn't purchase this with my own money but um this is something that i love very much i did just get a very small size of this in my sephora play box so i'm really excited to dig into that and use that um and finish that as well but um really really happy to have finished this and would definitely repurchase and um a shimmering skin perfector like this i definitely want to try the moonstone version but i have a full size of the champagne pop and um like i said the smaller size of this as well so i want to finish you know those first for sure this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination. I loved this when I first got it, but it was definitely something that I changed my opinion about by the end. I couldn't wait to finish this product. It just didn't look good on my skin like I had thought it did before, and I definitely saw all the glitter whenever I was out in the sun. I mean, it is straight up glitter when you're out in the sun. So definitely something that I'm not going to repurchase. I love the Your Skin But Better CC Cream, the regular, but definitely would not repurchase the Illumination version. Again, glad to have finished this. This and the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector were in my hashtag drop 10 before summer, which I have been really horrible about updating. I apologize, but I will be filming and posting a finale video um, somewhere around the 20th of June when that project is over. Glad to have finished this product. The next product I have, I was going 50-50 on whether I was going to put it in the declutter or whether I was going to put it in the finish. Because I got so much use out of this, I decided to put this in the finish uh, category. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. This is how much I have left of this product. I just felt like this never went anywhere even though I used it all the time. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is extremely nasty and separated. Um, you probably can't see it. The smell had started to go off on this like way before I decided to call it quits. I had had another one that I decluttered, I don't know if it was at the end of last year or the beginning of this year, because of the smell, and it was a lot lower than this. I had used a lot more before the smell started to change, but I'm definitely ready to let this one go, and I definitely feel like I got my money's worth out of it for how much I was able to use it. I'm going to start getting into uh, um, sample size, deluxe size products now. I'm still really proud of the products that I was able to finish and the number of them. So I really credit my turn and burn and my use it up for each month for being able to finish these products. I'm also really glad that a lot of these are products that I've gotten in my Sephora play box. So I feel like I've been able to really keep on top of using my Sephora play box items and not getting overwhelmed because I know that's why a lot of people cancel their subscription to that service or any of the um, sample services because they just have so much crap and so do I, but I've been really um, able to dwindle those products down. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a product that I received through Influencer. This is the Kenra Brightening Treatment Intense. This was the second of two that I was that I had received 
for honest review and I really did enjoy this product. This was a very dark, um, per I wouldn't even call it lavender, this is a very dark purple product that you put into your hair and it's supposed to really bring out those silver blonde tones in your hair. I used this as soon as I had gotten my hair done and I really feel like it kept my hair very bright and blonde and intense and I really, really enjoyed this product. I have not repurchased this yet. Um, I don't know. I, I do still have one from Redken that I need to finish, but I really did enjoy this product and I already did all my reviews for Influencer um, bef before this video, but I really, really enjoyed this product. The next product I have is this Mech, Mech. The next product I have is this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, and this was in the rose scent. I love the Fix Plus product, and I really enjoyed this rose scent, although I did kind of get tired of it when I was getting close to the end of it. So I was glad to finish this. I do have a full-size Fix Plus now and a full-size Fix Plus coconut that I'm really excited to use, but I definitely enjoy the Fix Plus product. And whenever I don't want to purchase a full-size, I would definitely purchase one of these small size because it gives me that um, that fix that I need to um, use Fix Plus without you know purchasing the full size product if I'm using some other type of prepping products. <clears throat> the next thing I finished is this Clinique Pep Start Hydro Rush Moisturizer. <clears throat> Sorry, I really enjoyed this as a moisturizer. Unfortunately, I'm really addicted to my Sunday Riley CEO. Sorry, you guys, my battery died, so I had to charge it for just a bit. The product I was talking about was the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Rush Moisturizer. I really, really enjoyed this product, but right now I am super obsessed with my Sunday Riley CEO moisturizer, but this is definitely something that I would be interested in purchasing a full size of in the future. I don't know how much this retails for, but what I have decided I'm going to start doing is figuring out the cost of my samples, especially samples like this more so that are, you know, a little bit of a... Um, larger, I don't know, size sample than just like a foil packet or something like that. And I'm going to figure out uh, based on the ounces that are in here um, versus the ounces in a full size, like how much um, per ounce this is worth. And then, you know, give a, sorry, my husband was yelling in the house, interruptions after interruptions today. Um, so, I think I was talking about um, figuring out the price per ounce so that I can give you a dollar amount of even the sample sizes that I'm using up. I think that would kind of give me a little bit of a better idea of how much that I did use up this year rather than just saying, you know, I've used up these full size products and having so many smaller size products that I've used up. So these definitely, you know, took time for me to use up and effort and all of that. So um, I'm going to do that and I will have those dollar amounts listed like I do the rest of my products as well. So that is um, the Clinique Pep, Pep Start Moisturizer. The next little sample size product that I finished was the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in the shade Nude Glow. Really, really loved this. I have a small sample packet of this that I will be using for my June Turn and Burn um, Use It Up project for the month. And I, like I said, I really, really enjoyed this. I put this underneath my foundation as my primer. And... Um, I would consider purchasing this product in the future when I like have nothing else to use in my collection just because I don't you know want to keep adding things to my collection before I finish everything up that I have but I may find something between now and then that I really enjoy more than even this product but I enjoy the scent on this and it makes my face look really glowy and illuminated I don't feel like this makes me look oily like I know some girls have said that they feel like this product does so I know that there are some people that don't like this product because it is super glowy so if you don't like super glowy and you feel like super glowy makes you look oily then this isn't something for you I enjoyed it 
Um, this is something that is a sample size that I'm not going to, you know, figure out a dollar amount for or anything because this was just a sample that I got from Mac in store. This is the Fix Plus, not Fix Plus, this is the Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NW20. This was full to the brim. I finished this up because I did finish up, um, I think a Studio Fix Foundation this year or I finished up. I don't remember what MAC foundation I finished up this year, but this, I think, was a sample of that same foundation that I finished up. I just happened to have it laying around and decided I wanted to go ahead and use it and just get it get it out of the way. So I finished that. I finished the Dr. Jark BB Beauty Ball Multi Action Skin Care Makeup in the shade Light Medium. I loved this so much. I definitely will purchase a full size of this when I decrease some of the numbers of my BB creams and CC creams because that's kind of how I categorize this product. It is, you know, labeled as a beauty balm, but I can use it as a foundation on days that I want to go with light makeup. I can also use this as a sort of primer before my foundation. It gives me a little bit of extra coverage. And I really, really enjoy this product. Definitely would repurchase this as well. I finished up this Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. I really enjoyed this as well, but not something that I would necessarily seek out to purchase. This is supposed to hydrate your skin for up to 72 hours this has hyaluronic acid in it which is really good for your skin so that is a reason why I might purchase this I mean this didn't blow me out of the water when I used it as a sample but if I was looking for a product with a hyaluronic acid in it this might be one that I considered using because I did enjoy it I finished up this Verb Ghost Oil. This was really nice, had a really nice scent to it. I do enjoy putting oils in my hair. It wasn't anything amazing compared to any other oils that I've used, so I kind of feel like um, there are several different oils that I could use and get the same result from, so this isn't necessarily something that I would go out and seek um, as a product brand-wise, but I definitely do like a hair oil, and this one has... Um, Moringa and Huli Capilla, some um, Moringa blend weightless hair oil. That's what it says. So I think the other thing was in a different language. Um, I finished up a Mac Zoom Fast Black Lash I or Zoom Zoom Lash. This is just a regular Zoom Lash. I think I have a Zoom Fast Black Lash, which I thought was the same thing as this, but I guess it's not. Um, so I thought I had several of the same sample. I think it's the same type of mascara, but it might be a little bit different in formula or it might be a little bit different in the wand. I'm not sure. So I haven't pulled that other one out to use, but I do remember looking at it the other day. I know that this is available as like a small um, travel deluxe size at MAC so that might be something that I might purchase or I might just go in and purchase the full size. I love this mascara so so much um, and I hope that I love the Zoom Fast Black Lash. It's not just Zoom Black, it's Zoom Fast Black so I'm not sure how it differs but I will see if I enjoy it as much as I enjoy this one and decide which one I might want to purchase in the future but I definitely don't have a need to purchase any mascaras anytime soon so that's definitely not on the like full size purchase radar right now but I really really enjoy this mascara and would kind of label it as one of my holy grail mascaras and the final three products that i have for empties for this month are um three perfume samples so the first one that i have is this giorgio armani sun de joya i really really love this perfume definitely one that i want to purchase in the future hopefully it's not limited edition it's going to go away um, I know they have like Air de Joya and they've got th those different kinds of elements um, as well as this sun one but to me this is like the ultimate beach scent. I know a lot of people love Replica Beach Walk, walk and I will tell you that that is very very closely um, like smells very similar to this product. The closest I've found so far when I put the beach walk on it reminds me of wearing this product and I love it so so much. 
I have this DKNYB Delicious Intense. I enjoy this as well. This is one where I enjoy the middle and end notes of this and I don't enjoy it as much when I first put it on. Definitely would be something I would consider purchasing in the future. I would definitely use another sample of it, but I don't know if it is something that I really want to go out and purchase, whereas like the Sun de Joya one I told you, I would purchase in a heartbeat. And the one that I just recently finished is this YSL Mon Paris. I love this so much. This is another scent that I really, really enjoyed. Something I would consider purchasing in the future. But again, I have so many body sprays and perfumes that it will be a while before I need to purchase any full-size perfumes. But that is it for my May empties. I have been really behind on editing and posting videos. I am so sorry i definitely have not been doing updates for my project pans the way i would like to to post here on youtube i haven't even been good about my instagram posts life has been really really busy for the last month or so so i apologize i'm going to slowly try and get on track i know i've said that a million times in my channel but life just happens so i you know i'm definitely still project panning i'm definitely still making progress on the products that are in my projects I'm trying to rotate through focusing on all of the things that I have in my project pans and I'm definitely still doing it I'm just not you know as visual on YouTube and Instagram and I'm hoping to get back there so thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you will see this video in a timely manner um I may not be posting it till close to the time I should be uh, filming my next um, empties for June, but um, it will it will happen. It will be posted. I do have several videos coming up that I need to be posting a project pan collab that I'm going to be starting um, in the next couple of days. So you'll see that before you'll see this video. I haven't posted my makeup basket for the last week yet. Today is the 10th of June, and I started it on the or some crap like that so that needs to be posted I'm already a week into that basket um, that needs to get posted by tomorrow so you can see what I'm saying I'm just very behind on updates and um, things like that but hopefully I'll be on time for my intro for the next project pan which like I said you'll have already seen before this video I will stop rambling you get it I'm behind and I'm trying to catch up so thank you guys so much for watching sticking with me and I will see you guys in my next video thanks bye